Hi everybody and welcome to uh, Entertainment Page. My name is Richard Jensen and my guest tonight, a very special guest, I'm just thrilled to have him here, is the godfather of soul, Mr. James Brown. And he's going to come on and talk about all the exciting new things that are happening with his career and quite a distinguished career it's been. A uh, career that spanned, I think, what, 25 years? 30 25 years? 25 years, right. 25 years, how about you? <laughs> boy, oh boy, we're going to have fun. And he's going to talk about his new live from Japan album, and we're going to get into I bet there was some culture shock with Japan, and uh, talk about all the great things that are going on with him and uh, his music and his hot new album, Hot on the One. That's right, Hot on the One. Hey, I got it right. And uh, we're just going to talk about that, and uh, we'll be back right after this message. Because man made them toys. But after man make everything, 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 everything he can. I'm sitting here with James Brown, who needs absolutely zero introduction, as you know. He's going to be in town at the Fox Theater. Let's, let's get this now. No glare. There we go. Fox Theater. He's going to shoot it for a network television special. So you can go down and scream and yell and hear yourself on the soundtrack. You can do this as an album, too, right? Well, we're hoping to do that. Yeah, we're uh -huh. thinking about doing some, some uh, uh, and make it be a soundtrack as well. On the brighter side of darkness, Love Jones. That's fantastic. Fantastic, yeah. Now this is a new album. Now tell me how this came about. You went to Japan. Well, I, I just finished doing the Blues Brothers, right? Mm -hmm. With John Belushi. Mm -hmm. right? and you highlighted that film. I love. Now, come on, be honest. Now that was the highlight. Here is God. I remember that. That was fantastic. But uh, it was probably one of the highlights of my life too. Really? High points of my life. And and, and John John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd, father, two of the greatest guys in the world. Yeah. Very emotional and very real. You know, uh -huh. what I mean, for in terms of saying, hey, we want to do something for the, the fellas who we've been inspired and motivated uh -huh. by James Brown and, and Cab Calloway, and this went back into the whole yeah. area of the soul and the heart yeah. rock thing. And uh, they had a vision to bring it back, and they did that. Because right now, the Blues Brothers are one of the biggest moves in the world. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And they keep on growing. Like, I heard it was grossing a million dollars a day. That's right. And it's coming back <laughs> now. Uh, they got a, this, this October push. Uh, uh -huh. It's, it's, it's going to be it's unbelievable. It's uh, be fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. I, I feel good, you know, yeah. that I'm a part of that because it opened up a whole new horizon for James Brown. Now, are you going to get into movies? Are you going to get into I'm, I'm thinking about going very strong with maybe Universal Pictures or Warner Communications. Uh, really? Real strong. And um, uh, James Brown in a character other than James Brown? I might even be a cowboy. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. So you, if you, are you have people developing projects and everything. Yes, on the whole uh, route. right about it. There's a gentleman in the studio right now, uh, uh, Mr. Dungill, who's been involved in a lot of heavy things. Uh, uh, Calvinette and the whole, so that, there's a whole lot of major mm -hmm. things. You know, he's been, uh, Don Fettis and a lot of people, you know. Yeah. So he's been in a long time, and, he, and he's a musician too. And, and then uh, I'm involved with the uh, a lot of other projects. Muhammad Ali and I are doing a thing together, and hopefully he'll be here tomorrow because he Fabulous. promised me personally he would be here, and he'll be in. I mean, he'll be in Teddy Jones. He lives up to his word. Oh, he always does. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's fascinating. After 25 years in the business, and you're still going into new things and branching out into a whole new industry. Oh, and slim too. I want to say that. <laughs> slim down too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I'm fast. So we don't have no problem with that tomorrow. I'm going to yeah. splits and everything. Everybody say, how he does it. You know. Well, I have a very uh, it's not a secret, it's, just, it's probably the, the best known thing in the world. I'm very religious, you know. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, I just believe in God and I get my energy from God. That's where my energy uh -huh. comes from, you know. And I, I, I realize that. And, mm -hmm. and I, I'm not as active in the church as I wanted to be, but I'm more active now than I ever was. Mm -hmm. Because um, I know that um, the, with all the luck in the world, it's it's still the energy come from God, the real spirit. Yeah, yeah. That's what I do all I can. I'm as proud of a young man like you. Oh, gosh. You know, you're going to make me blush here. 
Tell me about what it was like in Japan. Japan, James Brown is a favorite son there. Is it? And uh, uh, the whole Orient, you know, Okinawa, uh, Korea, and they just love James Brown. I seen a Japanese James Brown. A and Japanese he, James Brown? he was doing the splits, you know. <laughs> I blew my mind. <laughs> and those people are something, man. <laughs> they are fantastic, you know. They, they just love you to death, you know. I, I really can't perform for being, you know, I'm almost melting because people are so nice to you, you know. Yeah. And I really love the people that have them very big. And, yeah. And I wasn't looking for it to be that big. It just well, that's fantastic. really taking off. It's a man's man's world. It's, is that your it's single? Now? Cut in there. No, it, that's not the single. That's, that's the, the album the, cut. The best. Okay. But uh, you were talking about body heat. That's in the album. Yeah. I got the feeling. You remember that? Try me. Yeah. Sex machine. Uh, get on a good foot. Papa's got a brand new bag. Yeah. Please, please, brand new bag, please. Yeah. You like brand new bag? Huh? Oh God. Okay. Okay. Well, you gonna be at the box? You gonna come? We're gonna come down there. We're gonna come down there. We have a good time. Now, yeah. One thing I'm, I, I, do, I wish that people kind of. They come as early as they can because um, for those that want to get a good seat, okay? Yeah. I'm not going to tell seating. you. Yeah, it's open seating. And, uh, oh, okay. Uh, okay. There is a little different, I think, in a prize fair, but, uh, yeah. but it's basically open seating, you know? So make sure you go early and find a place to park. But Ali, will, like I said, Muhammad Ali will be by. We look for Isaac to come by if he's still in town because he gave us a personal commitment. And Mayor uh, Jackson made it to uh, uh, James yeah. Brown Day yeah. in Atlanta. Fantastic. My, my Sunday's Brown. James Brown yeah, Day. Right. Sunday's Green. We're looking for people from Senator Tamar's office. Uh, uh, Lieutenant Governor Sal Miller will be there. Uh, uh, Commissioner uh, A. Reginald Eves will be there. Um, mm -hmm. uh, a gospel group, uh, uh, Golden Gospels, will, they will be there. And uh, we're hoping the Swan will start by on their way to Baltimore. They're supposed to be there and do a mm -hmm. few numbers for us. But it's mm. going to be a big thing. The JBs are there. Bobby hey. Bird is coming back to join ah, me. Yeah. A lot of people from the core. From the, old, right there. From the original. Oh, it's going to be a gas, man. Yeah. It's going to be something. All my fan club is going to be there. I mean, it's. It's going to be a fantastic thing. Cool. People from the University of Georgia will be there, Georgia Tech, and there's all of my good friends. Uh -huh. I'm going to see, I, I want Pepper to come by. Pepper to come by. <laughs> now, when you were in Japan, did you have any trouble communicating with the people, uh, with the songs? I, I mean, standing no, up there singing like body heat, I mean, uh, they understand. did they understand, they, they, they got don't, the, the, they the speak, message? They speak better English than we do, you know, because I don't speak very good English, I speak a lot of slang, you know. Mm -hmm. Like hip, groove, and I mean, it's mm -hmm. not street words, you know. Yeah. But they speak English fluent, you know. Yeah. And, but they all, they've always known James Brown tunes, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, Sex Machine is a top tune anywhere abroad uh, as far as a disco tune, Sex Machine. Mm -hmm. Then Papa's Bag is great, then Get on a Good Foot, Body Heat. But they know all of my tunes, all the lyrics. Really? I signed one, one fella bought me 83 albums, you know. One one all of them autograph. But a lot of fellas have 40 and 50 albums. Yeah. They buy all your stuff. They know what key was done in. <laughs> but, you know, it's a very unique thing. Uh, the back of this album, I want to mm -hmm. explain that. Okay, we're going to show the back. That was Italy. This is Italy. Because it was their idea that I do a live album. Uh -huh. I, played, I played all of Italy. Rome, Milano, Mestri, Venice. Uh, that's quite an outfit you've got. Oh, uh, well, hey, that's that's... The same tail Boy, that makes everything Elvis, Elvis looks look tame. That's, no, that's the same. It's the same. Uh, man, the same. Uh, 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 Be honest. Have you ever split one of these? No, you can't split that. You can't split them. No. Even when you're doing the splits and the whole deal, they don't. Split. Way, yeah. Can you zero in on it? Can you zero? Yeah, they just zeroed in on it and uh, got it. They got the whole thing there. That's fantastic. You know what? So how long? How long were you? I really like your show. I want to say that. Well, I, thank I, you. I think your show is fantastic. I, well, thank I, I watch the station a lot and. You got a real unique thing happening, and, well, and a lot of people really don't know where you're coming from here. And this is a real, um, but a whole lot of people do know where you're coming from. But uh, I'd like to explain to that musical thing that's fantastic because I tried this a while back with Future Shock, it made a tremendous uh, 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 impression on the people. And this yeah. is needed so well. Mm -hmm. and young people like yourself doing it, I think your staff is fantastic. And I hope to be back a lot myself, you know. Well, I hope we Who can knows? Get you I might back. even be doing a Future Shock from here. Now, the single. That we <laughs> I repeat that. I'm throwing singles <laughs> all over the place. Now, let's get up off of that thing, and it's too funky in here. Well, I know you don't um, get up off that thing. I know we get up off that dance. Do you feel now, don't get me started, because I'm, okay. I'm going to, we'll just sit here. But let me ask you something. Uh -huh. With the advent of the Blues Brothers. Right. A heavy accent on the religion in that. Right. Okay. Yes, yes. yes. Have people come to James Brown they and said... Exactly. They Do they want you to preach and, and talk about how that has helped you through the rough times and yes. you know, like on the lonely road and this yes, kind of thing? Yes. Well, I do do I, I do a lot of uh, uh, lectures and and the other, the other day I did a whole uh, one I, one of my albums 
from start to finish, a young kid, a young lady by the name of Judith Bailey, who I watched grow up, and she's a teacher now uh, in Maryland. And I had to send this whole thing to her. And the station in Augusta, WBBQ, they taped it. And we sent it to, to Maryland, and the Maryland uh, Board of Education, they're going to use it. And, uh, and it would come out so, it came across so beautiful, so, so beautiful that we're doing a manuscript in the whole thing, you know. Wow. And we're going to start publishing it. And you just rapped with kids and, yes. and talked about Well, no, I rapped about my life. About your life. And the motivation, where I got my, yeah. uh, my inspiration from in the hard times, you know. Well, you have been an inspiration. And this is one thing this television show will be about. And so the people yeah. come to see the show will be a part of it when you see it. And it's nice to be mm -hmm. a part of the pilot. So I'm asking them to come down because uh, uh, this will be quite a thing when you see yourself, you know, yeah. on television. We're gonna, we got, we got to go away for a second. We're back. We'll be back in just a couple minutes go with James money. Brown. And he's going to talk about uh, how his life has changed and, uh, how, you know, how he can help other people, how his life can be a, uh, an example for other people. And we'll be back right after this message from one of our great sponsors. Have a thief in the night. James Brown. I'm Great. sitting here having a great conversation <laughs> with him. We were talking about his new album, Hot on the One. Picking my brain. Which is picking his brain. We're going <laughs> to make James Brown talk about the things he doesn't normally talk about. And one of the things I wanted to ask you now, you grew up very religious. Yes. Uh, did you get in trouble on the streets when you were young? I was a Jewish delinquent at the age of uh, 16. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had to go to Rome, Georgia. And from there to Alto, where I was released. Because I asked, I wrote to the parole board, asked him to release me. I told him I wanted to get out and, and sing spirituals. And I got out and sung spirituals for about three and a half years. And then I started this group in Tacoa, Georgia. Mm -hmm. so I had my friends would be down, you know. Uh, the whole gang from Tacoa is going to yeah, be down. All oh, the Tacoa yeah. people, Wanda, uh, 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 Madison, uh, Millersville, Macon. I love Madison. All my friends from Macon will be there, you understand? Oh, yeah. then, yeah. Okay. Not leaving out Atlanta, because Atlanta, you know. That's, oh, Atlanta's uh, going to be there anyway. But Augusta will be there, and uh, Rome will be there. They're probably Charlton. outside the windows right now. So They're there. On, I'm telling you, they'll be there. We're going to have a great time. Yeah. But uh, I, I started the church, and uh, I, yeah. I, um, I was very uh, I was very proud of what I was. And, and even though I went to the Jubilee Institution, um, I just, it just made a better man out of men. Yeah. And so ever since then, I've been doing a lot for the people, you know. Yeah. I recorded do you, do you, uh, Pop Out in 1968. Do you sometimes go to um, juvenile delinquent homes? I go. And, and, and I was in Washington, D.C., and I had to go to, to uh, a maximum security place there. Did you? And just walk around with no, no, nothing, no guards, no nothing. Everybody yeah. loved me, you know. Yeah. And I told well, them, they know uh, you're real. Yes, right. And I told them this is not the end of the world because yeah. I was there, you know. Yeah. Because I was sentenced to 8 to 16 years as a kid. Wow. And I served almost four years and turned me loose. And, mm -hmm. and my parole supervisor let me go all over the country because he knew That's I was going to come back and take care of business. And when I was in trouble, uh -huh. I sang spirituals for free people. I, I would go to churches and sing and they let me back in prison at night. That's fantastic. They really didn't have to do me no favors, you know. I yeah, they could, they could have locked you up and said, this is They could have locked me out. Locked you out, yeah. But locked lock you me. out and not let you in. They didn't. Yeah, yeah, they didn't yeah. But they let me back in. So yeah, yeah. I need somewhere to stay at night, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But you know, I, after I just, these angry fathers were chasing you. I want to say what, something else. I had a chance to do the other night. I, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get down to this, James. We're gonna get into this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. About Let's be serious. <laughs> Now nah, I told you I'd do oh, this. Oh man, I did that to me, Rick. <laughs> about three weeks ago, I was um, I had one one of the I guess 
the high point of my whole life, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, since I've been here. The, the high point was from my mother, you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, since I've been here. Um, and doing all my travel and my work, I had a chance to put flowers on Senator Hubert Humphrey's grave, mm -hmm. which was sad to me because I yeah. never wanted to see him there. But God, you know, God knows best. But I had a chance to to go to that grave and pray and, 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 and meditate and say a little prayer and talk just to, to him, to, to God. Mm -hmm. And I wrote him a little note, you know, and said, Papa, I thank you for, that's what I called him when he was alive. I said, Papa, I thank you for all the good things you've done. And knowing that your kindness and, and your good heart and the godliness about you will never be forgotten. I just want you to know I'm here one more time to ask you to pray for me. I think we gotta be mm. going to be, I'm gonna take this break for you. We'll be back. Uh, no, we're not ready to go yet. Yeah, we, we have one minute. You want to do that? We want to get to, okay, we'll do that. We got another minute. Um, we got another minute, okay. Yeah, he was a great But player. I had a chance to, yeah. uh, to uh, I didn't see his wife, Miss Miro, yeah. but I had a chance to uh, go well, there. Well, she's busy campaigning. She probably wasn't in town. Well, she, she don't really have to campaign too much. Not really? She's, well, she's, yeah. Because I would endorse her uh, uh -huh. in it, as long as she lived. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But I, uh, I had a chance to... Uh, Go there, and, and it was one of the high points of my life. And I, yeah. I just feel the one thing our country is guilty of is not making him president. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, are you into politics very heavily? Yes, I'm into politics, but I'm going to vote for the president this year. Okay. All right. We're going to get into that. You want to do the, the We'll Be Right Back? Now. You want to do that with Mr. Carter, right? Oh, well, I ain't said that. Give I us a We'll that. Be Right I didn't Back. Say that. Oh, uh -uh. I didn't say uh -uh. that. We're going to get into this now. Now, you do it. Give us a We'll Be Right Back, and then we'll get into this now. <laughs> I'll be right back with James Brown. He's the better than me. I didn't say anything. We'll be right back with James Brown right after. James Brown just made an interesting comment to me. He said that um, in the last couple of years that the accent on soul music has gotten very strong because of the religious... That's right, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, persuasion of it, the, right. the background of yeah, it. Yeah, the, um, the root of it. Soul came from... Uh, well, rock and roll came from uh, gospel. Gospel, yes, and, and jazz. Uh, and yeah. jazz. And um, was it hard for you in the beginning to get uh, the AM stations and to get the, uh, the pop predominantly... Stations pop stations yes. to play your music? Yes, it was hard because uh, it was labeled in the past and they didn't know where it was coming from. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, It was not a part of their format and I can understand that. Mm -hmm. I mean, but the kids love me to death, you know. Mm -hmm. At University of Georgia, I'm a household word. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, at the uh, University of Kentucky, University of South Carolina, Auburn, you just you name it. You like to play the college circuit? Uh, the kids, they love me to death. You know? Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm sure somewhere in your career you had you, you had some James Brown. You mentioned body. No, I I mean I'm gonna tell this story. Um, I was disc jockeying in a club in Atlanta, and um, we had uh, a pro a director, program director, so to speak, the right. manager of the club, who said, either you do this or you don't do this. And I'm telling you not. And one of the songs he told me not to do was Kansas City, which was on the uh, Everybody's Doing the Hustle, Dead on the That's Bumper. right. Now, I'm a fan of yours now, and uh, he said, there's no way anybody's going to dance to Kansas City. And I said, I'll bet you 50 bucks. We bet 50 bucks. I played it, and the dance floor was packed. Well, see, you got that soul, see, and he yeah. went quite to that. He was, he was, now this is interesting. He was, uh, I don't know if this has any bearing, but he was British. And he did not I like. I can't believe that. And he did not like anything that wasn't uh, bubblegum rock and roll. A bloody and, mess. That's a and, bloody mess. <laughs> it certainly was. But I played the Royal Albert Hall, okay? Uh -huh. I sold it out. Uh -huh. I, I played Hammer Smith. About it. I played Wembley. And uh, the Queen said uh, she has a lot to say about those shows. And she said, you know, 
uh, who is this James Brown? You know, there's one, you know, I didn't think it was going to, you know, they couldn't believe it was going to be such a fantastic thing. I saw mm -hmm. Royal Albert Hall out. It was on their feet for the whole entire show. And it took all the guards that you could find. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> Get me out. And I went right around the corner to Hammersmith, and it was sold and out. And then you went from, oh, out. my God. Same night. Same four, night? Four places. Same. You got a lot of sleep the night before, didn't you? Oh. Boy, that Berlin. sounds like a schedule. I didn't get a lot of sleep the night before, because the night before I was in uh, Berlin. And the night before that I was in Paris. And now, is it hard doing Brussels. this? Is it, is this, does this really... It's hard, but you know, I was a shoe shine boy, cotton picker, sawmill. I worked on the farm, and I didn't get a chance to get no farther than seventh grade formal education. Mm -hmm. And I'm very thankful to the people. And I give them all of me, without any doubt, no nothing, no access to ground. Just thank you for being so good to James Brown. And that's what we're about. That's the reason why the Mayor Jackson made the James Brown Day, why I got so many friends, why they're filming the show. I mean, the total involvement, because I've been here, Elvis and I were like the best of friends. Yeah. You right know, man. I was picked number I, two throughout the world. Yeah. Behind Elvis, he was number mm -hmm. one. And, yeah. Uh, and uh, if anybody don't believe he was number one, they're only kidding us out because that was, oh, he, he was, was out in 1955. He, he had a lot of support. Incredible, man. And I, hey, just being in that company is great enough for me. Yeah. And I love Elvis, you know. I, I, I was at his house, and uh, I was at his bedside. I wish I had been there, but not to see him pass, to see him with kids, you know. But uh, the first time I've ever placed my hand on a body was Elvis' body. Not even my relatives, but I felt that close to Elvis. Mm -hmm. And Priscilla will tell you, yeah. if his dad was here, she'd tell you, Rich and all the fellas. And I, was, I helped close the house up at 1130, but that was one of the most, but that was uh, the greatest loss. Yeah. And I mentioned that in this album, you know, uh -huh. about Elvis, you know. And I also recorded a tune, uh, a dedication to Elvis. I did Love Me Tender. Oh, yeah. And uh, hopefully we'll get it and back. And that's going to be on the, the next album coming up. Well, we're going to put it on the album. Mm -hmm. I didn't put it on the album, on the album at first, but uh, Elvis was very close to me. Yeah. You know, I mean, very, very close to a great loss. The yeah. entertainment, so the humanity. Yeah. Oh man, it's you know, it's I don't even want to think about it. That just it just something happened that I guess it, you can't explain, but it may have showed all of us a lot of things. Yeah. And, but that uh, was a great loss, man. And uh, hey, we're going we're going to have to go in just a couple of minutes. So I want to again show the album. This is James Brown, and it's his new album, Hot on the One. It's recorded live in Japan. And it's got all the great hits. It's got going to have a funky good time, get off of that thing, body heat, my favorite. Plus, I have a new uh, single on and TK. A, a new gotta, single on TK. I got to mention that. Tell me, tell me I'm that. I'm a free now. agent. And the name of that is Rap Payback. Rap Payback is the new single on TK. Uh, it's been a pleasure. God all bless right, you. And, and don't miss, don't miss. Let's hold this up. Hope you live 200 years. I live 200 years minus one day. Minus so I'll never know beautiful people like you will pass away. Oh, God bless you. Ciao, Sanada. What shall I say? That's the way go. Uh -oh. Thanks for coming and joining us, folks. Love and you. Bye. Thanks a lot.